My name is Madhu Murali and I work on wastewater heat recovery with the Durushka Research Group. And today I'd like to talk to you about our lab scale dissolved air flotation or DAF tank. What is dissolved air flotation? It's a treatment process used for drinking and wastewater treatment. Uh, what it essentially does um, is it's particularly good at removing suspended particles, such as clay or silt from the water, or any other particles that's suspended. What we're interested in doing um, is looking at opportunities to recover heat from the water within these tanks particularly when they're used for wastewater treatment. What we found is wastewater in some industries, like meat processing in particular, has a lot of embedded heat and there are opportunities for heat recovery there. So what we're interested in doing now um, is maximizing the amount of heat that we can recover from this tank whilst minimizing the disruption to the treatment processes. Uh, but before we discuss that, uh, let's look at a little bit more detail about how the tanks actually work. For our DAF tank, we use a high-pressure saturator to dissolve air into water and then release this mixture into the DAF tank. Releasing the high-pressure water-air mixture to normal atmospheric pressure results in the air being released from the water in the form of tiny bubbles, which you can see in the video as the milky cloud moving across from the bottom left to the top right of the tank. The dirty water coming into the DAF tank mixes with these bubbles the bubbles attach to the particles and remove them to the top of the tank and keep them there. These particles can then be removed by skimming the surface of the water at the top of the tank and the clean water with no particles then leaves the tank from the bottom right. Our goal in recording these videos through the viewing window of the tank is to characterize how our lab scale DAF tank works. We have introduced fluorescine dye into the tank right now which makes for the green color in the tank that you can see. This not only makes for some interesting visuals, but it also helps to identify flow patterns within the tank, particularly areas of low turbulence and high turbulence, and general flow and retention time within the tank. We're also interested um, in looking at the extent of the dissolved air bubble plume, uh, which with the markings on the tank help us identify. These gives us insights into the diameter and size of the bubbles. Having characterized how the tank operates normally, our future work will look at the impacts of adding a heat exchanger within the tank to remove some of the heat in the wastewater and the effects of this on flow patterns within the tank. You can see the heat exchanger in the back of the tank here, but we will look at a few different setups uh, to find an optimal one um, that can remove the most heat and have the least flow disruptions on the tank. Thanks for listening to this video and please enjoy this final behind the scenes look at our filming studio. I'd like to acknowledge our research funding body, the ERDF's Interreg Ireland Wales program for their support. Thank you.